you have this great concept called a daily paying business. Tell us a little bit yes. more about that. Yeah, you know, it all started because my background was in network marketing. And so you got paid like once a month. And so when I found out in digital marketing, you know, you could get paid daily. I was like, as a mom, that's the dream come true, right? So you never have to worry about taking a calculator to the grocery store because you just get paid daily. It's actually an ongoing joke in our community. Just go to Costco's. For some <laughs> odd reason, we can go to Costco's and we get a $600 payment in. It's like, it's many of us. So we just go to <laughs> Costco's. And so I just loved that. I was like, wow, what if we could create a movement and help people literally all over the world learn the skills to attract customers to them and get paid daily. I love that. And I mean, you know, you've got six kids, you've got five grandkids. Those Costco trips are going to pile up. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. So how did you get started in the in the making money online world? You know, it's interesting because my son's a runner and we were actually hosting the cross country dinner and I had 34 kids in my house. So I picked up my phone and I took some pictures and I went to post them on Facebook. And, you know, if you post anything on Facebook stories, you got to keep the app open. So the app was open, pictures were downloading, and I forgot about my phone. And about two hours later, my granddaughter, who was three at that time, hands me my phone. And of course, you're like, where's she been? <laughs> You know, where has she been on my phone? <laughs> and I looked and it was still on Facebook and it was ironic. It was a post on Facebook and from somebody I didn't even know. And I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook. So it was kind of intriguing to me what it said. And it, and it just opened the window of me understanding digital marketing because I am not tech savvy. I'm an introvert and it eliminated <laughs> both of them. So I was intrigued and that's, that was 17 months ago, and that's what opened the door for me. That's like some sort of Disney stuff right there. <laughs> you may as well have said, yeah, a little bluebird flew through my window and handed me this special combination. <laughs> what's, what's crazy is it was like a month ago. I've never talked to her since I bought from her. It wasn't a video. I didn't need nothing because what it said on there. I got excited, you know, and I'm thinking, man, when's the last time I was really excited about a way to make money? But the crazy part is a month ago, she, I go live every day on TikTok. I built my business on TikTok Great. and she showed up on one of my lives and she shocked me because I've never talked to her, never met her. And I start bawling my eyes out because I was oh, like, Michelle. I just want to meet you and hug you someday because, you know, here I was not satisfied where I was in life. And then 17 months later, I made a million dollars online. And it's like, I just want to go hug her because of the process that I learned from her. So, yeah. Amazing. 17 months, like that is explosive. Mm -hmm. That's yes. a fast journey. Yes, it has been. <laughs> it's been amazing. So mm -hmm. how'd you do it? And how, how did school play a part in it? Well, I knew nothing about TikTok. Matter of fact, when I had purchased the program and it said, use TikTok to build a business, I literally laughed. I was like, TikTok? I mean, isn't that like a dancing platform? I literally watched my daughter dance on TikTok. And then when I, uh, you know, understood the algorithms and the massive growth of 30 to 55 on TikTok, I was like, I guess I'm going to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in my head, I'm like, I am way too old for TikTok. What am I doing? Right. And it started working. And then I started having success. I just, I started just building an email list and turning that into customers. And I started getting a lot of customers. And my fear was like, I don't want anybody slipping through the cracks. And I was like, I'm going to create a community. And I didn't mm. want to do it on Facebook because you have no control. Facebook owns that. You know, somebody could hack my Facebook or something could happen and I could lose that. And then that's when I heard about Sam Evans in school. And I bought it and I created this community. And we just started building it. And I was like, um, I just want to be people's hope dealer. And I want to Ooh. allow them to have a safe place and feel part of something. And because the environment that we're in got us to where we are. And right. you can't get out of that environment. You can't change that if you're in the same environment. And, you know, because once you purchase something or you do something new, man, you get really excited. Yeah, you do. At the moment that excitement's gone, you're done, right? Like I did that with the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited and then, you know, you and everyone else, Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I was like, how do I help people not have that treadmill moment? And, you know, how do I help them feel part of something? And we just built this community and it's really wild because 
I created the community Mar- um, no, November 22. And so December 22, I was like, I'm going to put a thousand people in the community. Oh yeah. Come on. Michelle. I knew if I could get a thousand people, we could create many four five and six figure income earners. Well, we ended up hitting a thousand May 22nd. And I was like, I think I'm on to something. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. we're at nine, um, the day of recording this, we're at 9,400 and seven people inside my community have created six figures all under a year. And we're a huge international business now. Two of them are millionaires and Rand money because they're in South Africa. And it's just been such, wow, it's been a really amazing journey and such a blessing. And I've met the most amazing people literally all over the world. That's so cool. And I mean, what's incredible is, you know, let's call it 10,000 people in your community because you're almost there yes. is, is an insane achievement. But the engagement is through the roof. Like you're the number three community on school against platforms that are almost 10 times bigger than you. So that says a lot about what's going on inside there. What is going on inside there? Give us a little peek behind the curtain. And we're the number one community in school for business. And to wow. me, that's even huge. You know, when you go to there and you click on business. And that is because I want people to feel heard. I want them to feel validated. And I want them to be open with that communication because we all have blind spots. And and if we can't peel back those blind spots, we never can grow. And, you know, some people, mostly the people that we love the most, can't see our vision. And so it's like I wanted to pave this runway for people because, because you know, just like an airplane, you got to get that runway to take off. And it's like, <laughs> you know, I wanted people off the rocks of, you know, of the runway and I wanted it a smooth runway and people just really feel part of something. We built such amazing relationships inside our community that we're, many of us are going to go on a cruise together this year because <laughs> we've never met. And we're like, we're just going to all meet from all over the world and go on a cruise together. That's and, hilarious. But that's what we've done. We've just made sure people feel part of something. And I do provide, this is one of the, um, my, my secret sauce is every morning I wake up and I give them a daily video. Mm. It's going to be anywhere from five to 10 minutes. I just go on Loom and I do it and I get out of my head. I pour in my heart and I give them an action step. And so every day, their day is started with something to do, something to be proud of or feel good of. And and I think that's really made the huge difference is there's this always that daily communication. And I love the school platform. It's amazing in everything that you can do inside of it. I think mm-hmm. that momentum that you're talking about is really, really powerful. Like mm-hmm. if you can get someone like a small win or a big win at the start of their day, bro, forget yeah. about it. <laughs> well, one of our categories in school is wins. We celebrate your wins. And I looked at it the other day and it was 3,700 pages times 30 wins. I'm like, we have 90,000 wins in our community in 15 months. I'm like, you can't even make this stuff up. Like, it's just amazing. I get so excited about that to see all of the massive wins happening. And it's just, that's why I do what I do. Yeah, it's awesome. You, you, You said something super interesting. and I just want to zoom in on it a wee bit. You said that sometimes the people closest to us can't see our vision. Talk to us a little bit about that, because I think a lot of people who've joined school, they're maybe the outliers and their friends or their family. You know, they're maybe the, the, the freak visionary entrepreneurial type. And I think that's why so many of us find such camaraderie inside the platform, because it's like, finally, these are my people. This is who I've been looking for. Yes, yes. Well, you know, unfortunately, um, we're so programmed to go to school get good grades and go to college and, you know, do this stuff, which there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to be a little different, you know, then all of a sudden it's like, no, don't do that. That could be a (laughs) risk or that doesn't work or that works for other people. So we're so told that our whole entire life. And so that's it. I'm like, "Mm -mm. I am going to create a community where people, no matter your current circumstances or your past, none of that defines you. It's where you want to go. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. What you need to do is shock yourself. Be proud of yourself and shock yourself. And how do you get through that? Because unfortunately, the people that you love the most, they've also been programmed 
to do this and not do anything unnormal. And so sometimes people don't support you. That doesn't mean they don't love you. That actually could mean they're trying to keep you from getting hurt because they don't see right. your vision. And so we really are really big in our community of, okay, how can you help people be sold on your vision as well? Because if you can get people sold on your vision, you'll achieve it so much faster. Well, and if you have money coming in every single day, that's certainly one way to yeah. sell people on your vision is just show them the proof. It's like, look at this. <laughs> that's what I say. I'm like, you guys, just don't say nothing. Love them where they're at. And then just, you know, in about three weeks when you got some money come in, take them to a restaurant that you could have never afforded before and just thank them for loving you. Wow. And what is that Dave Ramsey thing where it's like, you know, make sure you read the menu from left to right instead of looking at the price first. It's like, yes. <laughs> could cover the price up and just get whatever you want. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's amazing. So, I mean, sell us on how amazing this transformation has been for you personally. So, you know, mm -hmm. like lay it on thick, like give us some motivation for people who are on the fence about, about taking the risk and taking the plunge that obviously is required to do something like this. Well, like, as you said, I'm a mom of six and, you know, I have five grandchildren now. And since I had kids, the only thing I've ever cared about is staying home with them. And so actually my journey as a mom started, I ran a daycare out of my home um, because I just wanted to be home with my kids because that was 30 years ago, right? So we didn't have the internet. We didn't have all these fancy things now. And so I was running a daycare for over a decade out of my home. Um, and I loved it because I never missed a moment with my kids because the most important thing for me as a mom is to never get that phone call from a daycare provider that your son walked for the first time or mm. said their first words. I never wanted that call. Like that was my defining moment as a mom is like, I will never not raise my kids. And so I've done everything. Well, then um, I was introduced to the network marketing world and my journey started in there. And I was able to make enough money to replace my income, but that was at a cost. And I had to trade hours, time for hours. I had to live on my phone to be able to get a customer. And really what changed was in 2022, um, we, the corporate, the company did a corporate call and we were so excited thinking this was going to be it. But actually they let us know that they were too loose on the comp plan and they were having to change the comp plan. And my income that day went from 7,000 to three. Oof. And I was tired. I was mentally tired, emotionally tired, but any, it was a pivotal moment because at that day I realized I'm a contractor if I'm an affiliate marketer or I'm a contractor if I'm a network marketer. And so that changed everything for me. And I would look in the mirror and I'd be so disappointed in myself because I didn't have enough time with my family. I didn't have enough money to make the memories. And so I call it, I put my big girl pants on and I decided to launch into the digital marketing world. And last year, we were able to travel literally the entire world. My daughter homeschools wow. this year. And um, two months, we were home six days total, is it? <sighs> we left the country five times, but we literally traveled all over the world. And my son, he is um, in college now, and he's actually a D1 runner for Wichita State University. And I don't have to miss any of his meets. I have the money to, we just actually flew back from Alabama. <laughs> And he qualified for championships. And that's what it's given me. It's given me the freedom of time because my business is on autopilot. And it's given me the freedom to be with my family because I've learned how to use social media the right way to attract customers. So I literally can get all my income earning activities done in two to three hours a day. Like, <laughs> I love like when I get done with you, I, now I'm building a legacy for my family. I just bought a hair salon. Hey. So, so now I went from, what am I going to do 17 months ago? I never want to do network marketing. <laughs> hmm, which, now ass, I, which income producing asset should I purchase first? <laughs> now I have nine income streams. Wow. Um, and one of them, I just decided my daughter's a hairstylist. And I, um, a few months ago, I was like, I, I can't stand watching you make a small percent. I'm going to buy a salon. <laughs> and so now <laughs> my goal is I'm leaving legacies for my kids. Yeah. Whatever their goal is, I want to fund it. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what it's given me. And my community has given me the ability to, um, I realize you can't, one person can't make an impact. It's a movement. It's millions of people. And I love 
the amount of people in my community that have been able to quit their jobs and now they're mm. full-time moms and now are actually starting to leave legacies for their family. And that's been the biggest blessing that my kids and my grandkids have me full-time now. And we got the funding to literally do the things that we want. And now I'm going to help fund my kids' legacies. And that's what this has all brought me. So... I just saw your T-shirt says Hope Dealer. That is so bad. Yes, I'm the Hope Dealer. <laughs> That's what I say every day. I'm like, I'm just your Hope Dealer. I hope today people see a different perspective. I hope today they see that, you know, you don't have to have no huge following to be successful. You don't have to be no extrovert. And you just need to have heart. Mm. Just get out of your head and get in your heart and just have the vision and go after it is really what you need. And my vision was unlimited time with my kids and my grandkids because they'll never forget that. And now it's like when I'm gone centuries later, they're going to talk about the legacy that I left them. And that's what means the most to me. The grandkids are going to be like, dude, we had the coolest grandmother and she did all these dances on TikTok. You would never believe it. Now I'm worried, Jimmy. <laughs> well, it's so funny because when I went monetized on YouTube, because I monetized on YouTube, and when I went monetized on YouTube, I was having that conversation in my granddaughter that's five. She goes, so YouTube pays your groceries then, right? And so we were at Costco shopping one time, and she literally <laughs> told the people, YouTube is my grocery money for my grandma. And I'm like, you know that people do not believe this. And it's like, that's the thing, though. I wish people understood the power of digital marketing and the power that's out there in the online world because there is so much money to be made and so many lives to be impacted. And I'm just Absolutely. one of the many. Yeah. So great, Michelle. And I love how you've you've taken the path of turning other people into a hero and, and kind of enabling them down that path as well. So give us a little bit of secret sauce for the people listening who run their own school communities. They're looking at you, number three, you know, of engagement on the whole thing, number one business community. Like what has worked for you? What hasn't worked? What mistakes have you made? Give us a little bit of school specific gold there. The biggest um, tip I can give people is care. Don't care about the money, care about impacting lives. The more you give, the more you'll get. And you'll get that in every area of your life of fulfillment, of joy, um, and just it's such amazing blessing. And the money will just be the whatever, you know. But the more you give and the more you just pour, and I just pour into my community every day. I just pour so much love and belief and vision into them because I want them to feel unstoppable. And whatever anybody is promoting, if they can help somebody feel unstoppable, together you can win. But if you go into creating a community that you want to make money, I want this, I want to be a millionaire and things like that, it will never, that, that is like, um, that repels people. But if you go in pouring on people with a big heart and caring, that will just attract people from all over the world. And that's all we do. We're just pure heart, pure heart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have other questions here, but I feel like that's probably the best way to end we're ever going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of everything you've shared, Michelle, is there any other advice you'd give um, to people listening? Maybe they haven't figured out what their niche is yet. Maybe they're struggling to set up their funnel you know, particularly people at the start of their journey, what would you say to them to get to that point where it's a daily paying business that you talk about? I mean, patience and mm. consistency and, you know, realize there's resistance in everything, right? If you're going to go lift weights, you got to have that resistance or you'll never have the muscle. And we live in such a, I call it a microwave society. Like we're now getting mad that it takes a minute and 20 seconds to heat up popcorn in a microwave. It's, it's like too long. I don't know why they make it like that. It's infuriating. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's, I always tell people all the time, I'm like, go back your last five years. Have you been able to make a million dollars in the last five years? If the answer is no, think about this. Because if you right now to this day can learn how to make 600 a day, that's 219,000 a year. In five years, you're a millionaire. <laughs> Absolutely. Be patient, have heart, truly care about helping people know who your perfect customer is and actually love them so much that your heart would smile when they had success. That's my biggest tips. It's great. Most challenging moment over the last 17 months? 
is you always get haters, you right. know, and especially it, on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok. And, and, you know, you've got to get that skin of a rhinoceros and you got to think hey, you don't know what state they're in in their head and you just can't take it personal. And I just, I just love on everybody, you know, and I know if they, somebody comes at me, they're dealing with something that I have no idea and I feel really bad for them. Mm. And that's been the bit, that's been the hardest part because I'm just, I'm a lover, you know, I mean, you can't have six kids and five grandkids and not be a lover, <laughs> right? And so when I kind of get um, the little, <laughs> I'm like, why are people mean? So that's sure. been the hardest part. But, yeah. Cool. Final, yeah. final, final, final question. Is there anything that you feel like you could have done the last 17 months that could have got you here sooner, easier, any area that we could learn from as we embark on our journey to follow in your footsteps? Oh, gosh, that is such a good question. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't have wanted it to happen faster mm -hmm. because the journey is not about the money. It's not about the size of the community. It's the person I had to become to have this size of a community and right. to have this type of money. And so sometimes I think people rush things, but they mentally aren't equipped for it. You haven't raised your standards to achieve that. I tell people all the time, the difference of your income now to where it's going to be is your skill level and your standards. And so you've got to give that time to achieve that. But the moment you do, everything is going to happen. And so I just was really glad that I embraced my pace. I knew the vision. I knew where I wanted and I knew where I wanted to take people. And it's just changed everything. Do you know what's so interesting, Michelle? For people who've been listening to this show closely, they will already, you know, the little alarm bells will be going off in their head realizing, oh, this is the fifth person that said that. <laughs> That's a clue. Success leaves clues. You know, and, and it's, it's all different. You know, we just got off off the phone with an incredible 23-year-old guy from Wales. Uh, I think their agency's doing like 500000 a month. And his final answer to this question was, you know, I just had, I was going to do a Welsh accent. I'll not butcher it. He was like, you know, I just realized that I just needed to become the type of person who could make 100000 a month, 200000 a month. And now you're saying, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay. We get it. We get it. Yeah. It's the truth. Yep. Michelle. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a lot of fun and you've shared a lot of really valuable stuff today. So yeah, really, really appreciate it. There'll be a link to Michelle's community in the link in the description. And if you're new to school and you'd like to join, there'll also be a wee link that you can click to join and come and see what it's all about. So yeah, thanks, Michelle. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Appreciate it.